Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. I right, to adjust my chair real quick. And, oh boy. We... Still need to finish saying hi to everybody. Oh my gosh, is that a medicine thing? I need it. Yes. Also this. That's probably not. Okay. Just making sure. You're Isn't that him? From the Battle of the Dawn? Can't be. Oh my gosh. Should have saying this before that. And there were no survivors. It's him. Well, I don't like to be. <laughs> oh, son, keep the shadow from falling upon me. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's back! Nil? Hey, Loy. They told me her name. I said, hair like a splash of blood, tenacious as a scrapper's jaws. I've thought about what you said. Every time, the wound you gave me caught on my ribs. But I didn't wound you. Not by metal. Still, I forgive. <laughs> a duel is such a fleeting joy. If one of us had ended the other, we'd have missed all this. The weight before blood is shed. Like the scrape of a blade across your teeth. Yeah. Nil, you're making it difficult to be glad to see you. <laughs> but you're needed. The battle will be hard. Hard? I was assured the odds would be near impossible. And you signed up anyway? Impossible odds, fine company, killing without consequence. How could I resist? Ah, uh, yeah, it's right up his alley. Oh, no, I need to consider it. I love how Aloy is like, the developers are not giving you a chance. How many men do you think you'll kill in the battle, Luther? As many as I have to. I love it when you say things like that. It's so... What? Cheerful. Uh. Nakoa, you came to fight. She's from how could I not? Forever ago. During the Red Raids, there was only one Karja Butcher the Nora feared more than Zaid. Helis. I would stand against any army he leads, no matter how strong. For the Nora he terrorized, for myself, and for my father. We'll stop him. You have my word. Your word means a lot. Especially now. Because of you, I hear the sacred land is opened. If we win, I can go home. It'll be good to see Jan again. Yeah, that's right! Okay, good! I'm with you, Aloy. Until the end. If nothing else, she has the hope that, you know, she could go home. She's no longer in exile. Oh my gosh! Oh my! Aloy, I told you I'd be here. You did, Teb. But have your wounds even had time to heal? Honestly, if I fought, I'd probably come undone. But don't worry. I'll leave that to the other Nora at the Spire. I brought supplies instead. These Karja have made me an honorary quartermaster, whatever that means. <laughs> it sounds impressive. Yeah. I could get used to it. We'll be setting up caches of arms and medicine under yes! these corners. Yes! Look for them when the fighting starts. Aloy, when you went into the mountain, did the goddess tell you our chances? She didn't need to. I know we can do this, Teb. Maybe we can. <laughs> Maybe. That's a Praise nice spear, Uthid. Thank you. From I like the way you grip it. <laughs> Enough, woman. Arrested two for disorderly conduct last night. You don't want to know what they were doing. Oh, dang it, I missed it. A, a thing came up. Where you be? I've had two so far. Okay, this is the third one. Halloween. Travis came by trick-or-treating dressed up like me. Should have seen that coming. I gave him a half-eaten packet of dandy wafers as a treat and kicked him out. But not before he invited me to some kind of Italian horror extravaganza he organized for ZD staff. Seriously. As though there isn't enough horror in the world already. Anyway, I was already scheduled to fly out here to Chief of Crime for final inspections with Harry's and the President's delegation. Ted was here too and he was not looking good. He kept fidgeting and couldn't seem to look me in the face without blinking. 
I was relieved when he boarded his vert and flew back to Thebes, gag. Though I guess I shouldn't complain. If he wants to build himself a deluxe shelter throughout the apocalypse, let him. Keeps him out of Elysium and away from me. I'm so mad she let him live. Harry stuck around long enough to give me a detailed briefing on the strategic situation. Basically, you've entered the terminal phase. As though the color of the sky when I was flying over here wasn't clue enough. Another two or three weeks and the atmosphere won't be breathable. The last vestiges of European and West African civ brigades are trapped with their backs against the Atlantic. The swarm that scuttled across Antarctica is crossing the Straits of Magellan. The bot is on its death crawl up South America towards the Amazon. All of the work we did to reconstitute the Green Force, and it comes to this. And advanced elements of the Pacific swarms are already skirmishing with units on the Kalmar Seawell. The noose is tightening, projections show we can still finish in time, but the margin of error is plus or minus 10 days, not a good spread. If the plague breaks through ahead of schedule, well, it c just can't. I will not let that happen. And yet on Friday, I need to get back to Zero Dawn. I mean, they were operating like every day, like any sort of setback was gonna be like detrimental, you know? Like I can't even imagine working under that sort of pressure where it's like, oh, we've got a deadline, you'll lose your job if it's not done within the requisite amount of time is nothing compared to the world will end and everything we've striven, strove to save, whatever, will be gone. And everything, everything will end, <laughs> you know? Like, everything. It's crazy. Okay. Let me just, I don't even know, like, I assume... If there's people for me to talk to, they will be... It's a fire kiln route. They'll be kind of within eyesight of each other. The rope doesn't quite connect. Interesting. Is this one? Nope. Hmm. Oh no, it does. Whoopsie! Okay, where's my... That's the spire, and that's the rest before the final battle. Okay. Right. Oh. Well, it wasn't my inventory, but it's just a resource somewhere that I apparently haven't had. Do I have enough? Okay, I have space. Perfect. We should be fine. I should I should be fine on resources. Okay, Spire. I had to take over my brother's shift today. I'm sure as the sun's rising, he's on courting that noble girl. That's really nice of you. Oh neat, is this some sort of dry dock? Oh man, I just want to design like video game. I don't want to design anything fancy. I just want to design the environments in a video game. That's all. I want to design the things that no one's going to see. The whole tribe of That's damaged and under repair. There's a there's a, two Sobek journal, three, four, four Sobek journals, and a Gaia log. Left. Okay. Wow, I only missed three data points though. In during quests, I did a pretty good job. Wish I'd have gotten more of these, but I did pretty good. Okay. I've actually never been to this fire and I've always wanted to go. I don't think so, right? I don't think I've been over here. Unless, no, during the assassination we weren't at the spire. 
that's sleepy time. We don't want to do sleepy time. It's kind of weird, actually, that I've never gone to the spire, honestly. I think I actually had a little bit of a quest over here. Something about the Glintenhawks, I think. Weird. Well, I hope I didn't miss anybody over uh, at the at Meridian. People, I almost didn't. That girl was forever ago. She was uh, captured as a as a slave. Well, like she went out to go kill Zaid or whatever, and then we helped her escape. <gasps> My mentor. Talana, why are you here? I'm your hawk. Where else would I be? Defending Meridian with Avad? I leave that to the rest of the Lodge. I will not stand aside while one of mine fights alone. Not again. Are you sure you... You're risking your life for all of us. You can't ask me to stand by and watch. Not when I have the power to change it. Then I won't ask you. It's settled. I will fight by your side. My only request... Name it. Anything. Leave the biggest machine for me. Done. <laughs> no <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> there is no way she'd promise that. Her outfit is so cool. How, they've all got such really good designs. Let's see. It's kind of mean that they don't, like, mark where everybody is that has come by. Like, what if somebody's down there? In an obscure little spot that I don't know about. Oh, one of these is the Glint Hawk. I think it's that. Yeah. That's the Glint Hawk thing. So, yeah, now I have to sort of parlay with the Nora. How's it going? Greetings, Aloy. Don't. You don't need to bow. The anointed doesn't like it. She doesn't much like being called anointed, either. <laughs> it means a lot to have you here, Thank Varl. you, though, Varl. <laughs> I gave my word. So, Meridian, what do you think? I've seen many new things since I first met you. I should thank you. Varl, what's wrong? You really want to know? All right. I'm in a foreign land. A tainted land, defending a faithless city that looks like nothing I've seen. From something I can't imagine. Th and you, after all that's happened, all you've done... What? Okay. I feel like I should drop to my knees and worship you, but I know you don't want that. Boy, things are pretty tough for you, huh? Ah! Thanks for telling the other Nora not to bow. It's the last thing I need. <laughs> don't be too hard on them. They only joined this fight because the anointed bid it so. Is that why you came? No. I would have come just to see you one more time. I'm gonna cry! And we must fight a metal devil because the goddess says. Or because you say. I think the goddess and I are in agreement. We're both glad you're here. So am I. I'm gonna cry! Your friend, the vanguard, keeps looking over. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> so yeah, this has got to be crazy for the Nora. Not only like, I mean, I think only a few of them could come. There's probably like more than that, but oh, there they are. Oh no, that's not the Glint Hawks. Okay, that's the Vanguard. Okay, but um, but no, it's got to be like they're in a foreign land that you know, they've believed is tainted forever and it's a place that a lot of blood was spilt like meridian is where a lot of blood was nora blood was spilt but like it's got to be kind of overwhelming to like this is the first time they've so been outside their guys? own borders they call themselves the eclipse what does that even mean it's when the moon gets in front of the sun idiot is that supposed to sound scary or something I don't know. They used to be Karja. Karja are always yammering about sun and shade. <laughs> well, if they used to be Karja, how tough can they be? Yeah, they're best guys, just like birds. <laughs> we'll rip their little feathers off. Uh, let's not get cocky. 
boys. <laughs> the awesome. They're awesome. Uh... Aloy. <laughs> so here we are again, gearing up for a fight. Only this time it sounds like the bad guys have a lot more fire. You guys have better armor. What are we up against, really? A god. I'm not sure. But there's gonna be a lot of them, and they'll have machines. And if they get past us, it's not just Meridian that will fall. The rest of the world will go with it. Let's. Well, yeah. Big. I don't know if that's something you want to say. It sounds like our kind of fight. Right, guys? Well, where do they put the vanguard? At, At the, the front, front of the line! line. Yeah. And why? Steel before iron! And what are we gonna do? Hit him like a hammer till he can't hit back! No. Damn right! Pump you hear that? Up. Nobody's getting past the vanguard. We're here for Meridian. And we're here for you. I'm gonna Thank cry. Versa would be proud. I keep like. Well, only if we win. Tearing up a little bit. Oui. Review more preparations at the spire. Awesome, awesome. I'm actually like really emotional about all of this. Like they're really only here. They are here for me. Like they're here to defend things, but they're here because I asked it. You know. Is that wait what? Yeah, Halloween. Such a close thing. It's been, what, 43 hours since Harry's war meets had collapsed with the eastern line was imminent. Swarms launching some kind of pincher maneuver versus the Wichita salient. Five or six days more, and I think Gaia could have launched without our help. I really do. Wait to scramble. ZD became a madhouse. Absolute bedlam. Every team rushing to stabilize code and lock it down as Gammas get evacuated and Betas. Once Gaia was on her way, I gathered the Alphas together to give them the bad news. I felt like I was already going to throw up. I felt like I was going to throw up. But they already knew, of course. They knew the work wasn't really finished. Close, but not quite there. Still tests to run, kings to smooth, work to do. So they accepted it. No leasing for us. We'll spend the rest of our lives here, testing and polishing each subordinate function to perfection. I guess that's what you get when you recruit a bunch of obsessive perfectionists, and then they talk to cry until I got back to my office. So, okay, so they were supposed to be at Elysium. That's right. They were promised that they could either die you know, be euthanized, or that they would live at Elysian for the rest of their lives, but these, these few got sent to the, to the Gaia facility to finalize everything that entire teams had spent, you know, forever working on. Excuse me. So here we are, setting up Gaia Prime. And yeah, such a close thing. Makes me feel nauseated all over again when I contemplate how the fate of life could hinge on coincidence. If I'd never proposed the Lightkeeper Protocol, there would never have been living spaces constructed here. If I'd abandoned the protocol sooner, the necessary life support systems never would have been installed. If, if, if. At least we won't have to endure the creepiness of raising and training clones ourselves. The genetic material was never processed out of the cradle sites, so it's not even possible. For which I'm glad. I really, really wouldn't want to spend time running on Travis Tate, raised by Travis Tate. No, it'll be up to us to perfect Gaia, one generation only. Update. That was General Harris. Salient has collapsed. USRC expects to be overrun in two days, which gives us about 72 hours at best to lock down and seal up. Buried alive for life's sake. I'll go tell the others. And then it was ruined because freaking Ted Farrell was still alive. I don't know. They should have tossed him. He did not deserve to live. He didn't deserve to live. Under no circumstances did he deserve to live. I hope you fight soon. My armor's getting itchy. I like how everybody's got, like, just little dialogues. Oh. You guys weren't here earlier when I was walking in. It rises taller than the highest tree. These cards are in their frilled armor look like turkeys. Yeah. But there are so many. And now we are so few. They are not our foe. Not this time. Quiet now. She comes. The I was... Anointed. I was wondering if, if his mom was going to be here. War Chief Sona. War Chief, you, you seem uncomfortable. The Nora do not belong here. I do not belong here. I will fight the metal devil that threatens us all. But my place is in the sacred land. The wrongness here jags at me like an arrowhead. I'm sorry to put you through this. Do not be sorry. This will be ended. My spear, my word. All right. Well, I guess 
that's just about it. I kind of want to look at other stuff here. Shut up, man. No, I wanted to get a good look at the view. way to go saving the world yeah I feel like for the most part people I don't know they're gonna fight but I think they individually don't think they're gonna live you know which I don't blame them I hope I haven't missed anybody I probably won't start the final fight yet Man, everything's gonna change after this, for better or worse. I don't know, but... Oh, maybe, oh, that's right, I did possibly wanna upgrade. Actually might go by oh I have a lot of wire right now okay I want to make sure so I have 395 should be good or 59 whatever words oh wait that was day <laughs> I misread that one day oh, well. don't really need those but all right let's go try to buy that um trip caster the upgraded trip caster at this point i might as well buy what i can i do need to leave shards though for my arrows i can't forget that this is such a beautiful place i do wish that like i don't know I don't know if it's my game or what, or my settings, but the draw distance is really weird. Like, it's not... There are games... I can see farther in Skyrim than I can in this game. Like, it's all, like, foggy out. Oh, wow, big birdie. Yeah. Okay. Is this... Like, where's, like, the spirey part of the spire? You know what I'm saying? Like, that black spiral stuff. Okay, excuse me. That is... So, like, nobody goes in that? We don't touch that. This is, like, right next to it. Okay. It'd be cool to get in there. Maybe, maybe I will. Maybe the final fight will take place inside the spire. Like, the actual spire. Oh, I guess I can just... Well, I'm not... I might edit it out, but I'm gonna run. So I can take it all in. Oh! And shoot. Oh, crap. There is... The Ancient Armory. I'm gonna look into that. I'm gonna go buy this thing. And then I... I'm gonna look into the Ancient Armory. And that may take... That may take You're a little bit more time. You're the outlander to stop the assassin. I'm the what? Oh, this is very easy. Am I sure I don't have it? Yeah. I have the tear blaster. No, the rope cast. Oh, wait, I do. I have the shadow rope caster. What was I what was I wanting? Trip caster. Okay, no no no. Okay. Trip caster, rope caster. I want the Karja trip caster. But I have the car or the shadow rope caster. I don't use the sling. Okay, Arja Tripcaster. Oh yeah. Put her there. Let me sell. What does it have in there? Eh, okay. Another attack on another tutorial that I won't use. Okay. Popped in. 
So 40% fire, 14% freeze, 49 shock, 45 damage, 17 corruption, and then 43% shock. So got my got my, my my weapons all beefed up. Uh, I do like the tear. I just these are not purple tear, but ooh. oh wow. I can replace them with purple tear. Oh snap. severity and low fire damage over time, it, uh, the it, enemies will apparently try to avoid it. Oh shoot, I can buy it! I have what I need! I have, I have, yay! I was able to do it! The golden fast travel pack! Here, see for yourself. Alright, now... I have to go back and try to find that thing now. I did miss one in the mountain that fell. I think I got it at Maker's End, but I don't think I got it at the Grave Horde either, so it's gonna be a minute. It's gonna be a hot minute if I can even do it. Well, I've made it. Aha, I'm gonna throw myself off the cliff. And I had never noticed this. <laughs> to climb up 12 floors to get back here, and then you have to climb up to the tippy tippy top of the skyscraper. She is so brave. Oh, sweet. I get to rappel off. Nice. Power cells! I only need one more to get to that ancient armor I found. Aw, oh, yeah, girl. We're in the top of the world. Whoa. What? What? Wait, what? Whoa! Um... I was just trying to come back to make her <laughs> What? There's not even any indication that anything's here. Why did I get a cutscene for that? I'm just trying to get the last power cell. What the frick? What? Why? Guess I'm not almost there. Correct. Oh my gosh. Am I repeating? Is this what was supposed to happen? Because Silence just spoke to me, and I think I'm like reliving the uh. I'm like reliving the. the, the scene that was supposed to happen? Okay, never mind. I do have a choice, I just kept running. That was scary. I. I don't know if I didn't trigger that last time on the way up or what, but uh, that was kind of funny. And that silence talked to me, even though silence is like, we're never gonna speak again. So that was that was funny. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, I had to turn left instead of going right in the way it kind of obviously looks. Apparently, I'm supposed to go left. Okay. Kind of hop, skip, and cheated that a little bit, but hey, it works. So somewhere in here, Ta -da! last power cell. This should be the last power cell I need to get to that ancient armor I found. Oh snap. Boys and girls, we're gonna get ourselves some ancient armor. I'm so excited! Like I really am. I'm so glad I remembered before the final fight. I would have been so sad. Some of these, some of the power cells were pretty easy to find, but this one was pretty sneaky. The last 
last two. Well, the one up in uh, Maker's End and Ted Farrow's Tower wouldn't have been wouldn't have been uh, bad if I'd been paying attention. I mean, like, I, there was something green lit up right there. If I'd have turned around and looked above the doorway, I would have seen it. Walking out, I should have seen it. But I didn't. It was all disguised. Oh. Got another Sobek journal. Just wrapped inspection of Gaia Prime site. Construction is well underway. Reactor installed. Plans for control room. Remind me of Starship Bridges on those old cheesy old sci-fi vids. Living spaces for Alpha's already completed. Prefab modules. Oh no, we already did that one. Yeah, okay. Uh, Odyssey launched. Halloween. 43 hours, so... No, we haven't unlocked. Why does it keep telling me that? Anyway, we're about to replace this with the power cells. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. This is what we've been waiting the whole game for. Okay, get it. Get that marker off. Those clamps have the armor locked in place. Heck yeah, they there's do. There's a way to power up the mechanism, release the Heck clamps. Heck yeah, there is. <clears throat> oh, buddy. Oh, boy. Only two more. Just one more. I was like, uh... <laughs> there we go. The last one. <sighs> All powered up. Okay. Now to get the dials in position. There must be some okay. kind of code. Degrees. All right. Okay, we're doing this in degrees. Um, 90 degrees is clockwise. And then 270 is counterclockwise. And then we're going to do 360 is good. You're where you need to be. 450 would technically be 150? No, sorry. That would be 110. Which is kind of an awkward uh, thing. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of this wrong. Closest would be 90. And then 330, and the closest would be. Yep, okay, I did it wrong. Okay, so it turns out I was slightly off. 330 is closer to 270, apparently, not uh, 360. <laughs> so, um,. But on my computer, actually, the recording started to, to glitch out big time. So it actually worked out really well. Sort of. <sighs> Did it. Yeah! Look at that armor inside. All oh right. my gosh. Now let's see what we can do with this oh material. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. This, this, whole, this whole park gets its own little baby recording that's going to be tacked on at the end. Oh my gosh. What do we do with it? What do we do with it? Go to pitch. Oh, that's, that's something else. Shell weaver box. Shell weaver box. Shell weaver box. Where my shell weaver box at? Okay, 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 okay. And I hope I don't have to do anything special to it. Just please let me. Yes. Yes. Yay! Got the shell weaver outfit. Energy man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Gosh, ancient technology salvaged by Aloy and stitched to Nora leather. It does look like my Nora outfit. Projects a damage absorbing force shield. Takes time to recharge when depleted. Oh snap! Oh snap! Whoa! Look at that! So it was just like the pieces, yeah? Like we saw, like it wasn't, it wasn't super solid. It just, uh. Oh my gosh, it's gonna glow! It's gonna glow! 
Oh my gosh. And I love the like Nora take on it that she basically like stitched it to the Nora armor she was wearing. Like the, the armor that I was wearing at the time. Just stitched it on. So cool. So cool. So glad I didn't forget to get this. And it will take, so it's a shield, but it will take time to recharge. We're gonna own this final battle. We're level 38, we're almost level 39. Bring in, we've got shield armor. Like, I'm so stoked. I'm so stoked for this. It took me like just over an hour to do all this stuff, but I am stoked. And in the next one, we're gonna have a big old fight. We're gonna crush a god and we're gonna ascend. It's gonna be great. And then we're gonna go disappear into the wilderness and play the DLC. <laughs> but anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I can't wait to get this going and see how this all plays out. I'll see you soon.